Welcome to Math Window. Calculate and simplify this fraction. First, what should you do? Of course, observation or inspection. What have you found out? Hmm. The exponents are all three, but the bases, they are different. Here 53, here 53 as well, but here 24, and here is 29. Are there any relationships among 53, 24, and 29? Hmm, think of it carefully. Of course, there are, or there is, because there is only one relationship among them, that is, 24 plus 29 is equal to 53. Aha! This is a good opportunity for us to substitute them as three variables. So first, we can substitute, we can let. Whom can we let? Which number can we let? Of course, I like addition, not subtraction. So I'm going to let... 24 be equal to a, 29 be equal to b, and 53 is a plus b. So let, uh, you can let 24 be equal to a, and 29 it is b, of course it is. And what about 53? 53 is the addition of a and b. So now, 53, it is A plus B. Very, very good. Substitute them back into our fraction. First of all, our fraction turns into a term or into a fraction about A and B. 53 all cubed, it is A plus B all cube plus 24 is a so it is a cube and then fraction line a plus b all cube then plus b cube since b is 29 so now what should we do of course we have to use a formula which formula should we use two possibilities maybe you want to say we can use a binomial formula, a plus b or cube. You can, but it is unnecessary, or it leads to a bad way. Why? Hmm, think up. What's our goal? First of all, or yearly, we have to factorize the denominator and the numerator. So now, by using which formula can we Factorize them, of course, by using the formula x cubed then plus y cubed. Now be careful. What is x? What is y in our this problem? Of course, x is a plus b and y is a for the numerator. And for the denominator, x is a plus b and y is b. So for the numerator, a plus b all cubed then plus a cubed. First, what is x plus y? It is a plus b is x and then plus y is a. Mm -hmm. By using this formula. And then times, ah, we have to add this. Why? Since x is a plus b, so it is, so it is a plus b or, or square, and then minus x times y, it is a plus b, and then times a, and then plus y squared, it is a squared. Now, it is so long, I need a ruler. So this is a numerator, and the denominator is a plus b, here plus b. And then times, here is still a plus b all cube, but here is minus a plus b times b. 
and here is b cubed. We have to simplify this term further, further, further until we cannot simplify it anymore. So then, continue. Go ahead and do it. a plus b plus a. Hmm. On the numerator, here is qa plus b. Here is a little bit short. I need more place. Hmm. I will try it. a plus b, all squared. I think you must have memorized. That is a squared, then plus 2ab, then plus b squared. plus a squared, plus a b. Oh, then plus a squared. So then the denominator, it is 2b, then plus a, or I can write a plus 2b, times, here is still a squared plus 2ab, plus b squared. But here is plus b squared minus ab. Sorry? Something went wrong, I think. I found out. Look here. Minus a times a. So it is minus a squared, not plus a squared. Minus a squared. And here is minus a times b, not plus, because here is a minus. Because I thought that here was a plus, and here as well. So here is negative b squared, and negative ab as well. Many terms can cancel out each other. For example, this negative a squared, and here is a positive a squared. Here is a negative b squared, and here is a positive b squared. Here is a negative ab, but here plus 2ab, so it is plus ab. Plus 2ab, minus ab, plus ab left. In the end, 2a plus b times, in this bracket, it is a squared plus b squared, plus 2ab, minus ab, plus ab. Uh, without ruler, I can also draw it perfectly. Oh my god. Here a plus 2b, and then times in this bracket, a squared plus b squared plus 2ab minus ab plus ab left. And you can see that. a squared plus b squared plus ab appears on the numerator a squared plus b squared plus ab appears on the denominator and a, b are not zero. So they can cancel out each other and our answer is 2a plus b divided by a plus 2b. But what is it? 2a, it is 2 times 24 plus b, 29 divided by a, 24, plus 2b, 2 times 29. So in the end, what's the value, what's the result, and what's the answer? It is 77 divided by 82. And they are called prime, so it cannot be simplified anymore. This is the answer. And give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.